working on a lot of stuff this week, including some skating drills that uh, the Chris Cerruti had mentioned, the fact that uh, conditioning is going to be key this year. Yeah, I think it's important. I think any time in the beginning of the season, you got to get the guys in condition. And you know, that not, that's not necessarily just skating lines. That's doing different drills where you're moving your feet and scoring goals at the same time. I mean, um, you know, we've got a good opponent coming up here, and we've got to be ready to go for three periods. So it's important. A sloppy performance in the blue-white game, really to be expected because of only one week of practice. What are you doing to address that this week? Um, you know, I, I don't know if it, I'd call it sloppy. I think the guys were just, you know, we had some new guys that were, you know, seeing the lights a little bit and weren't used to the atmosphere. And, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, this week we were, you know, just going back to work. And, and I think that those things will work itself out as people, as guys get more comfortable, players get more comfortable on the ice in front of fans and, and, and you know, doing the things we do out here, um, I think that'll naturally go away. Opening on the road with the new guys, and you, you talk about playing here at the Greenberg. I mean, this is a chance for not only them but the rest of the team to to kind of gel together on the road. How important is that to open the season away from home? Yeah, I think it's important. I, you know, all the teams that I played on, uh, our you know, my coaches love to go on the road in the beginning of the season because it just you know, it just it does just that. It, it gels the guys together. You know, it gets guys in hotel rooms talking about things they wouldn't necessarily talk about. You know. Um, if they're at the rink, you know, and, 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 you know, gives guys time, especially the new guys, to meet some other guys, see some other guys, and, you know, away from the rink also. Um, you know, I think it's, I think being on the roads are great, especially in the beginning. Pittsburgh, one and one on the season, both the win and the loss uh, really lopsided. So does that make it tough to kind of prepare for the Panthers? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think you rely on, uh, you know, what happened last year a little bit and, and you know, the, the tape and film that you have from last year and your experiences from before. And, um, you know, I think they'll, the, it's their first, one of their first games too here in the season. And then they're going to come out ready to go. And so our guys need to come out ready to go. I know for one thing, our guys are going to be ready. You know, they, they've been, we've been skating a ton. We've been working out a ton. And the guys are itching, itching to, to play somebody else, I think. Lastly, you're new to this, but the, the Icers for years have always had that big target on the back. And, and I suspect for this year and next, it's going to be that much bigger after the news uh, that the team is going to go varsity in a couple of years. Uh, are you looking at that at all, trying to address it as a coaching staff? You know, I think that I think we are. I think, um, you know, everybody in the organization and at the school is looking at Penn State hockey. And uh, so I think you need to, you know, pay, you know, pay attention to details and, uh, you know, be meticulous in your preparation and your, your practices and, um, you know, getting ready for the season. I think absolutely you do. Um, you know, what are we doing differently? Um, you know, I'm new here, so, you know, it's all pretty new to me and different to me. Um, but, I, you know, I think, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Details, details, details. Josh, thanks a lot. Chris, looking back on uh, Friday night's blue-white game, uh, Coach mentioned it. I saw it. Uh, looked a little sloppy, especially in that first period from a player's perspective. How was it for you? Yeah, you know, um, we had one week of practice. You know, we're getting ready, and everyone's starting to get feel for their lines and everything. We had two lines per team, so fatigue kind of set in a little bit during the game. But as the game went on, I think um, we worked those things out. We talked about it in between the first and second half, if you want to say that. And uh, it started to progress a little better. And this week of practice, we're back on the ice working on those things that we saw in the video. So we're going to clean up the defensive end, try to get some of that sloppy play out of there and uh, get ready to go for pit on Friday. Speaking of fatigue, uh, some intense skating drills at the end here would make her Brooks proud. That's something we have not seen an awful lot over the past years. So how, how is that and how are the legs feeling? Yeah, um, that's one thing we've really stressed this preseason is we've been going hard. Um, at the end of every practice, there's usually 15, 20 minutes where it's all conditioning, all even off ice. We go on Fridays, we'll have off ice conditioning out in the field or on the track or something like that. So, um, like last year in the Nationals with 129 left in the game, you know, we don't want to be feeling fatigue at the end of the year. So, right now is the time to work on that. Panthers are one and one. They had a blowout win over uh, Cornell and then a blowout loss uh, on the Saturday. What are you expecting from them this weekend? You know, we don't really know much about them. Um, one philosophy we have this year is we want teams to play us. We're not going to really worry what they're doing. So, uh, we're going to try and play inside our system, uh, work our systems to a T, and if we do that, I, th I think we'll be good. This is, uh, you know, a road trip to open the season, but for you and a bunch of the other guys on the team, it's almost like a home game because you're you're going home to the Pittsburgh area. Yeah, we're playing in Harmerville, which is actually quite a few miles away from campus from Pitt, but 
Uh, we grew up playing there, so it's fun to go home. I'm sure a lot of the grandparents will be out, a lot of the family friends will be out. So it's fun for us to get, ho get to go home and uh, play in front of them. And play against some guys you probably played with growing up. Absolutely. In high school games, whenever I was a freshman in high school, we would play against some of these kids. So um, it's definitely, it definitely drives you to, to play your best, and I'm um, really get excited to go out there. Lastly, how tough is it not to look past Pittsburgh and Drexel at the three other opponents coming in later in October, including Central Oklahoma? You know, like you said with the Blue White game, we have a lot of things to work on right now. So we would really want to clean that up and get ready to be full gear by the time they get in. You know, um, we have, if you want to call them two-month games, we can't really look at them like two-month games, though, because we really need to go in there and practice our systems, get good at our systems, and that's one thing we want to have worked out in practice, so that, therefore we can do it in a game instead of working them out three Chris, weeks into the season. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks.